Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial. Today we are going to explore about one of the most famous multiple object tracking method called Byte Track, a simple but super effective way to track multiple objects in video. When Byte Track was first introduced, it quickly became famous because it solved a big problem that other trackers struggle with missing objects when they were hard to see or got blocked by something else. <coughs> Instead of ignoring these tricky cases, Bytrack uses almost every det detection it can, making it super reliable even in crowded or messy scenes. So, before going into its implementation, we go through its research paper and learn how it works. Let's get started. So, the research paper of Bytrack is called Bytrack Multi Object Tracking by Associating Every Detection Box. So, what exactly is Bytrack? Bytrack is a smart algorithm designed for multiple object tracking. That means it can follow a lot of moving things like people, car, or animal in a video by drawing boxes around them and keeping their identities straight as they move around. What makes Bytrack stand out? is its simple idea instead of uh, only trusting the boxes it's really sure about it tries to use almost every detection box even the one it it's less less sure about this help it track better especially when they are hard to see or get blocked by something else so what problem did older tracker have which by track solve now let's talk about the problem older tracking method faced by uh, previously first most old tracker would only keep boxes if the computer was very confident that they were real if the computer wasn't sure maybe uh, because the box objects was hidden or blurry it would just throw these boxes away this means that a real object could be missed especially when they were occluded or not easy to see occlusion means when an object overlaps another object so one object is unable to see during viewers point of view so it also causes problem like losing track of object when they are disappeared for a moment and then giving them a new id when they come back making it hard to follow the same object through the whole video so how does bike track fix this bike track fix this issue by clever uh, two step process first it matches all the high confidence boxes to existing track this is similar to what old trackers did then it takes the boxes with lower confidence and tries to match them to this is the key difference. By not throwing away this, these boxes, Bytra can recover objects that were hidden or hard to see for a moment. It uses a prediction tool called Kalman filter to guess where each object should be. Maybe it's even better at keeping track of them if they disappear for a few frames. So, What's new and special about Bytrack is the big innovation Bytrack doesn't waste any potential useful information. By using both high or low confidence detection, it can track objects more reliably, especially in crowded or tricky scenes. This uh, approach is simple, but it works so well that it's now considered state of the art. In fact, Bytrack has ranked first among several major tracking benchmarks beating out older or more complicated method but with uh, with newer technique there are some limitation it can still struggle with small objects or in extremely crowded scene where lots of things overlap one limitation is that it uses fixed threshold to decide what's high or low confidence this number might need to be adjusted for different video or situation which can be a bit tricky and it's mainly designed for tracking one type of object at a time not multiple types together but overall uh, by track has some major benefits it's super accurate running at real time speed even on a big video it makes uh, far fewer mistakes 
like losing track of object or make, mixing up the their identities it's simple to use and can be added to other tracking uh, system to make them better and it works really well in real world scenario like security camera or self driving car let's see some example as you can see these are the example in which occlusion happens and and due to byte track algorithm its id remains same as you can see the uh, yellow triangle is going and then it got occluded but it still do not lose its lose its id you using byte track tracking same with here as the person occluded for some time it uh, uh, its id became red uh, red triangle but again it came back to uh, yellow, yellow triangle these are the few examples you can check around so the byte track is a simple but powerful way to track a lot of moving objects in video using every bit of information it can get if you are interested in computer vision this is the tracking algorithm you should check out let's get to its implementation now let's see how you can implement byte track there are various ways you can use byte track using it github or ultralytics i am going to show you the easiest way you can implement byte track on your video which is the ultralytics method in this method you will have an object detection algorithm which is yolo and the byte track algorithm together in one place so you don't need to in, uh, install any other uh, requirements for that first we need to install some uh, libraries which is ultralytics and opencv then in our next step i am going to create a helper function which help me show you some video on which i am going to perform a, a, a object tracking on so let's run this function now this is the main function which you need to create to perform by track tracking first we need a model which is here yolo 8x model by track and run on uh, all yolo model so you can choose any model you like then you need to create a function in which you will use the models track method in that in that argument you have to provide with a uh, video part and the byte track dot y yml name this is the ultralytics built-in byte track configuration and then you just have to loop it through every frame and print out the every object id it detect and see what happened let's run this now this is a sample video which we are going to use by track on this video is pretty much a simple video of two people jogging there are no occlusion or anything else the video is simple and very clear so there will be no problem in tracking let's perform by track as you can see in every frame there are two ids are generated there are two objects so there are two ids are generated if there are more objects more ids will be generated and the the tracking algorithm duty is to keep this id uh, in check so that if tracking tracker id 1 is representing this object so tracker id in next frame should also represent this function and this will happen throughout the video so the tra if that happened tracking algorithm is successfully implemented if not tracking algorithm is failed to track the object as you can see throughout the uh, fr frame the both tracker id remain constantly on the same object which is between this box as you can see every tracker id is nearly uh, start with uh, five four which is representing the this uh, object in the video and it's performing good 
now let's create another function this is the function i have created using our previous by track function in this function i have added some more features like now the video will be annotated and saved in our local file system as you can see this part will drop bonding boxes around the uh, around the uh, object which has with same id and this will save video in our local file system so let's run this function now let's take a look at our another sample video which we are going to use object tracking on this is the video we are going to use object tracking on this is a complex video of some players playing footballs it has lot of occlusion small objects and large object and uh, an object which pattern you can't generally predict so let's see how by track perform as you have seen by track tracking on players next next video should be a different tracking object so let's take this video this video is of a playing a plane flying across the sky which is a very hard object to be tracked like there are various small objects and you can't see which object is going which direction let's see how by track perform in this kind of situation as you have seen the result of by track tracking on a plane let's take a object which is very simple and we will see it in everyday life like this object this is a uh, video of a, a highway in which multiple cars are passing through. This is an everyday tracking uh, uh, object you need in uh, a security situation. So let's see how well by track perform on these kind of uh, video. Like, like because it is difficult to track a small pixel becoming a large object. Uh, Let's see how by track works here. As we have seen how by track works in different scenarios, now you can implement by track on your own. With this, our tutorial on by track implementation is over. To read about more on ByteTrack, you can check our website in which we have written a blog on how to implement ByteTrack for multi-object tracking in which we have explained it more in detail how you can implement ByteTrack using both methods, Ultralytics and GitHub. Please check it out.